So what does a surveyor do? Do they A, conduct questionnaires and surveys? Do they B, serve things like sandwiches? Or C, use lasers, aerial photography, satellite images, and a whole gamut of other technologies to evaluate and compile spatial information? If you said C, you'd be right. Because before you build a house, dig a mine, or build a road, you need to know what the land looks like. And a surveyor takes all this information and provides maps, drawings, designs, plans, and 3D models to architects, scientists, and engineers so they know what you're building on top of. So today we're talking to a surveyor to see how and why they do it. And hopefully I get to play with one of his lasers. Pew pew. Before the first brick is laid or hole dug, a surveyor is out on the scene finding points of interest on the Earth's surface to prepare pictures and data of exactly what the contours of the land look like. They can even map the surface of the sea floor. To tell us all about it, we're chatting with Matt Sinek, who's gonna fill us in on what it's like being a surveyor. Matt. Hey, Jesse. Hey, mate. Look, I've got a few questions about being a surveyor. You the guy? I'm the guy. Beauty. You wanna go walk around site? Yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's go. Cool. Pap, before you go. Oh. You need this safety gear. Safety gear, alrighty. And we gotta look good as well. Indeed we do. <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. So, what do you wanna know? Well, first up, I mean, surveying, it's not all just technology and fancy maps and that sort of thing. What else is there? Well, you've got other stuff like you've got to do data upload, you've got to make sure all your design's right, and you've got to advise the engineers and uh, make sure that they've got the right data to work with. And are there different kind of surveyors? Oh yeah, there is. There's, you've got the hydrographic surveyors, which deal with uh, mapping the sea floor, aerial laser scanning, where people work with data that's captured from an airplane, and cadastral surveying, where you're working with lot boundaries and houses around uh, suburbs. And so where does the lasers and the high-tech Gandalf stick? Oh, the Gandalf stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that actually tracks your position from yeah. robotic total station. So wherever you walk, it's just following you around and it's uh, sending the lasers to that and sending it back, giving you our location. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so why did you become a surveyor? I became a surveyor because I, I do like a mix of um, the office and the outdoors and I, I do love the outdoors. So it's a perfect job for me to, to see the world, really. And so if you could give one piece of advice to someone thinking about being a surveyor, what would that be? I'd say if you do like the outdoors and uh, you like a bit of sun and like walking around, you like seeing remote places, then yeah, it's the perfect job for you. All right, mate, well, I reckon now it's time for the edge. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so what characteristics does someone need to be a surveyor? Uh, good mathematical skills, you've got to have great attention to detail, and the ability to work uh, independently and uh, with other people. So now, at least from school to today, what does someone need to do to get into surveying? Well, you've got, to, you've got to study maths at school. From school, you can either take the avenue of going to TAFE or to university. Like what I did is a Bachelor of Surveying, and that will enable you to be a licensed uh, cadastral surveyor. Okay, so lastly, if you could end up where you are today but have done one thing differently, what would that be? I would have started a little bit earlier because uh, I started studying surveying at 21. I could have started maybe uh, three years earlier. Nice. Well, thanks so much for the chat. And right. uh, can I have a go with the Gandalf stick and the laser? All right, let's yeah, go do yeah, it. <laughs> Well, if you like a bit of variety, travel and the outdoors, maybe think about a career in surveying. For more info, head to studentedge.com.au. Hey Jess, can I have that back here?